If you ever want to know if an angel is around you, I'll give you one of them. Amen. Amen. I'll give you one. <laughs> Job chapter 14. You know, Job chapter 4 from verse 14 to 15. Chapter 4, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. It Did stood you hear that? Yeah. When the spirit passed before me, all the hairs of my body stood up. Yes. Chills and all your pores just, what, just... A spirit just passed by you. Wow. Like literally passed close to you. Anyone who knows me, I always have chills. Haven't you ever noticed that? I'll just be like, ah, oh, ah. Uh. Even without eyes, because the effect is that you have to remember that scientifically, right? The hair on your body is actually antennas. Did you know that? Yeah. They correspond to frequencies. Yeah, that's true. It's a hundred percent true. So, if you ever want to know you are praying and then all of a sudden you don't know why you got chills and your hair stood, just know there's some angelic beings that just came to where you are. That's a good answer, right? I gave you scripture so that you're confident. <laughs> Whenever you're in your assignment, right? and you increase in your intimacy with God, it empowers everything around you, even those who are supposed to help you. That's why he said, Praise the Lord, ye his angel, who excel in strength. Meaning that they, and they excel because what? By doing the voice of his command. So when you receive words from God and you put them into practice, you also equip the angelic beings that assist you. Yeah. So your, your, your key is to just point yourself to the direction of where God wants you to be. And, and the more you do it, it, it pays off.